Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from kbking77.com here to do a video showing you how to update your Nexus device to official Android 6.0 Marshmallow, whether you have a Nexus 5, Nexus 6, Nexus 7, Nexus 9, or Nexus Player. Now it's important to note you need to be on stock and have stock recovery to install this update, and it does not matter if your bootloader is locked or unlocked, as long as you're stock and not rooted. Now I'm going to be using the Nexus 7 2013, the only thing you need to be careful of is the file you download, I'll show you that in a second. There's a couple of prerequisites and steps. First of all, you need to set up the ADB and SDK tools on your computer. I'll link to a quick tutorial video on how to do so in the description of the video. Once you set that up, you might need to install drivers on your PC. I'll link to those if you ever need those if you run into any problems. But anyways, on your Nexus device, go ahead and go into settings and then go to about tablet. Go ahead and scroll down and make note of the build number, whichever one it is. Just kind of make note of it because you're going to need that in just a second when you find the file to download. But also quickly tap on build number about seven times and it says you are now a developer. Go ahead and press back and you'll see developer options right here. Go into that and then go ahead and check USB debugging and hit OK. So allow USB debugging. Again, your bootloader can be locked or unlocked, and also this is the exact same as if you were to get the OTA to your device. You're just manually installing it and updating your device. Now next, you're going to need to download the official update file, so click on the link in the description. Shout out to Android Police for putting these together, and you need to find your device. So at the moment, you'll see the Nexus 9 LTE, Nexus 9 Wi-Fi has them, Nexus 7 2013, Nexus 6 don't have them yet. I'll keep them updated after this video is posted. Nexus 5 has one, and Nexus Player has one. So... Let's go ahead, in my case, I'm going to click on the Nexus 7 2013. Also, make note of that build number that you have. So in your case, for a Nexus 6, when the 6.0 update comes out, make note of that build number, and then just go ahead and click and download that file. Now, once you have that file downloaded, it's going to be a bunch of letters and numbers. Uh, to make things easier, I want you to just rename it to update. And you, you may or may not see .zip at the end if you show file extensions. Once you've renamed it, I want you to just right-click on it and hit Cut. And then go ahead and go to your C drive, which is where we have that Android SDK uh, Windows or Android SDK folder. And then double click on that, go into Platform Tools, and then just go ahead and paste the update zip file inside that folder. Now once we're inside that Platform Tools folder, I want you to hold Shift on your keyboard, right click inside of it, and you'll see Open Command Window here. Click on that and it's going to open a command prompt. Alright, next go ahead and grab your device and just go ahead and plug it in. And then leave the screen on. You might see allow USB debugging pop up. Check always allow from this computer and hit OK. Um, now all I want you to go ahead and do is leave the screen on for your device. Now go to your computer and go ahead and type ADB space reboot hyphen bootloader. Okay? And press enter. Now you might have to check always allow and hit allow on the computer again if it didn't pop up before. And then you'll see we are now in the bootloader. If this didn't work, you might need to install those drivers I mentioned earlier. Now you'll see no command right here. You kind of want to play around with the volume and power button. I usually press the power button and then volume up while holding the power button. That's usually how I get it to show up. Otherwise, just kind of mess around with the buttons. It's kind of finicky. All right, here is what stock recovery looks like. It looks very similar on every Nexus device. Again, use the volume rockers to navigate. Go ahead and uh, go down once to apply update from ADB and then press the power button. Now it's going to go ahead and down at the bottom of the device it's going to say now send the package. So let's go ahead and go to our computer. Just type ADB space sideload space update.zip and update.zip is that file name that we renamed and then go ahead and press enter. Now all it's going to do is on your device it's going to go ahead and just load up the package. Make sure you do not unplug your device. Leave it plugged in. It says verifying the update package. It's going to send it over from the computer. You'll see percentage on the computer so I'll be back once it's at 100. All right so it looks like it's sent over the file and it says installing update verifying current system make sure you're on the correct build version and again it's letting you know how much percent done on the computer. All right so it just finished it took about 10-15 minutes so you got to be patient with it you'll see install from ADB complete and then it takes us back to this recovery now it's highlighting reboot system now just press the power button and it's going to reboot your device. It's going to take a bit of time to actually reboot the device a little bit longer than usual. But once it boots up, we will be on Android 6.0 Marshmallow. All right, always a good sign. We've got the new boot animation rolling now. All right, your phone or tablet should have booted up by now. And you are now on official Android 6.0 Marshmallow. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, please click the thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel as well. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links in the description of the video below. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching.